Well, thousands of students are expected to get off the wait list for after school child care vouchers thanks to a partnership between the city and state. Mayor Eric Adams says that kids in quote every classroom deserve the chance to succeed and that this will expand access to child care and decrease the financial burden on families. The city's administration for children's services tells us that all families of children on the child care voucher wait list will have a chance to apply and receive one if eligible. And it's a perfect segue to our live guest tonight who's joining us now, the Commissioner of the Administration for Children's Services, Jess Danhauser. Thank you so much for being with us tonight here on State of Our Schools. Thank you for having me, Amanda. Pleasure to be with you. Absolutely. Really quick, just want to touch on that really exciting news about the more after-school child care vouchers being available to students. Can you elaborate a little bit more about how that will work and how parents can take advantage? Sure, we're thrilled uh, that the mayor has made this a key to the city's pandemic recovery. Uh, child care is so essential to families. Uh, it's, it's part of our voucher system, also su supports small businesses. Um, and so we want to make sure that we are moving as quickly as possible to help families gain access to child care. For families who are currently on the wait list, we'll be reaching out to them directly. And we'll be asking them to submit uh, some simple paperwork and go through an eligibility process. And if they're eligible, we will issue them a voucher and they will be able to access child care. If, if folks are interested in learning more about child care and expressing interest in it, they can also go to our website uh, and look at on the Find Child Care section of our website at ACS, www.nyc.gov slash ACS a resource that is so important to so many. So thanks for highlighting that. And it's also important to have you here tonight because as we're wrapping up April, we're also closing out Child Abuse Prevention Month. And I just wanted to ask you, what do you think that New Yorkers need to be most aware of right now when it comes to this issue here in our city? Sure. You know, I think what's most important is that we are there for our neighbors, that families who have been under a lot of stress know that there is help out there. Um, we have 135 programs serving 20,000 children and their families across New York City um, that are available, they're free, they're community-based, they're voluntary. Um, you can come and get support on all things, tangible supports, including um, diapers and other resources, uh, benefits access. Uh, we help with family therapies if that's something that's needed. And these are local community-based organizations, nonprofit providers that work with ACS to provide a range of services to families. And so if you know someone who's stressed, if you're stressed yourself, um, you can reach out through our website to um, nyc.gov slash ACS. There's a prevention page there. You can also call 212-676-7667. That is the front line. The mayor has called on us all to go upstream. Family stress is something that we've all experienced. I'm, I'm a father, um, my wife and I have an amazing daughter, but we know the stresses of parenting. The stresses of parenting when you're struggling to make ends meet are even more so. And we have support that can help families. This is not support that requires them to, um, to really um, be too intrusive in their life. It's help that they find helpful. Our families, 93% of them have said that this was something that they found helpful. And that's so important. And you talk about stress that's been so prevalent for so many throughout the pandemic and how it's impacted child abuse. I know initially ACS wasn't receiving as many reports, not to say, though, that it wasn't happening. And now more than two years into this, what are you seeing when it comes to that? You know, it's very important. It's very important that the New York City community knows we did not see a tremendous spike in child abuse as a result of the pandemic. And we're learning lessons from that as a system. What we did see is families who need support. And so if you can reach out, if families need help, to please reach out. If you see a child that is, uh, has marks or bruises or tells you that they're in danger, please call 311, the child abuse hotline. But in most cases, call directly for help, for support, because families need it. We all do and can use that helping hand. Absolutely. A great reminder. Jess Danhauser, the commissioner of the Administration for Children's Services, thank you for being with us here tonight. Thank <laughs> you.